When prototyping a project, you're probably going to use an ESP development board such as a Wemos D1 Mini or a Node MCU. These boards can be programmed via USB, but if you're designing a product, you might want to include one of these ESP12 modules instead because they're much smaller. In this video, we're going to take a look at three different ways that we can program the ESP12 module. The easiest way to program an ESP12 module is to use a board like this, where you can just pop the module into place and then program it like you would any other ESP development board. The downsides of something like this is that you can only program it before you place the module into your project, and also it's a little bit expensive if you're doing only a couple of modules, it's really if you want to do a lot of them. I got my board from AliExpress, but I believe the original designer was this user Fred on Tindy. He was sold out at the time, but I'll link to both of them in the description below. The next option we're going to look at is manually putting it into programming mode and programming it with basically any USB to serial adapter. Even this one that's less than 50 cent works. First we need to look at how the module is set up for normal operation. Reset and chip PD or chip enable are pulled high so is GPIO pin 0, and then GPIO pin 15 is pulled low. To enable programming mode, GPIO pin 0 must be low when the board resets. The easiest way to do this is add two momentary buttons that will pull GPIO 0 to ground and reset to ground. Then you would just hold the GPIO 0 button down and press the reset and then you can let go of both buttons. I've seen a lot of mention online about doing this sequence at a specific part when the Arduino ID is uploading, but you don't need to worry about that at all. Once you enable boot mode, it will stay there until the next reset, so just perform it any time before the upload. And finally, to connect up the programmer, you need to connect the TX and RX to the opposite pins on the ESP. Also, most of the programmers don't have a strong enough power supply to power the ESP, but you'll need to common out the ground, so connect ground to ground, but power the ESP externally. But what if we want something that enables programming mode automatically? It's possible to do it with some of the USB to serial breakouts such as this FTDI board with some external circuitry, but I think there's a better way of doing it. You can use a device that can power the ESP, can program the ESP handling the auto reset, costs less than $250 delivered, and there's even a good chance you already have one. So what is this device? Well, it's actually a Node MCU board, and I got the idea from another YouTuber called Mika Kirkella. In Mika's video, he uses the Node MCU board to program an ESP01, but we can just use the same idea to program our ESP12 module. It's pretty much the same as we had before, except we're connecting GPIO pin 0 to D3, because that's pin 0 on a Node MCU board. We connect the two reset pins together, TX and RX are not swapped around like the were before, so TX goes directly to TX. And then finally, we're connecting the chip enable pin of the Node MCU to ground. This will disable the ESP on the Node MCU board. Once it's wired up like this, you can program the board exactly as you would your Node MCU board. If you want to make use of this on the boards you're designing, just break out ground, GPIO pin 0, VCC of the ESP, TX, RX, and reset. Hopefully you found this video interesting. If you have any questions or comments, or if there's any other programming methods that you'd like to share, please let us know in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.